I'm Quinn Player, and I will be playing the role of Roger. Hi, Quinn. So how did you feel about being cast in the movie? Um, yeah, it was, I was really excited when I was cast. Um, it happened in a very interesting way. Uh, the director, Tony, uh, Tony, I'm not exactly sure how to say it yet, but um, she contacted me on Facebook and first thing she asked me, she was like, do you still live in Connecticut? And I was like, well, I know this woman obviously does not know me because I haven't been in Connecticut for seven, since I was seven. So um, I knew it was something with acting and you know, when I let her know I was in the Atlanta area, she let me know what it was about and I was excited, asked me to audition. And uh, I sent in my audition, and um, they liked it, and you know, offered me the role. And then we started talking on the phone when I was actually headed towards Nashville, and I could just hear her passion through the phone. And she was telling me what she's got going for this project, and I was like, I got really excited. Like uh, I was just, you know, so much buzz around it. I could tell she was very invested in it. She had other people, fans that were invested in it, and yeah, I was just excited, and she told me more about the role, and that got me excited too, it was something I haven't done before, and you know, as soon as I hung up with her, I called, you know, my mom, my dad, sister, my cousin that I was headed towards, and just told them all the news, and you know, I was just excited, having phone conversations the whole way down, so, so yeah, on the whole, I'm, I'm really excited, uh, really ready, you know, ready to get going, so. Okay. So how do you uh, think you identify with the character in relation to your personality? Um, let's see, uh, from what I've heard about Roger, he's a fairly evil dude, um, you know, a backstabber, and I wouldn't say I'm either one of those things, I'm a pretty loyal friend or whatever, but um, what, I, what I will say in regards to Roger, I know every every character and every villain that you've seen, you know, just period in life or on screen has something that they love, you know, something that they, that they love. They're not evil at heart, I guess I'll say, or evil at their core. Um, and I really think that if I, if I find what it is that Roger loves, I can bring more authentic, authenticity, I think it is, authenticity to the role in, and not just be an evil guy that's fake, you know? Uh, just really, you know, everybody keeps saying they love and they hate Roger. Well, they wouldn't love Roger if Roger didn't love something and, and exude that out of himself. So I really, I want to show, you know, both sides of Roger while still doing some pretty messed up stuff, like still showing, uh, showing that good side that everyone I think at least has. So tell me what you feel um, you're bringing to the film and to the character. Um, yeah, I think it'd be a lot of, you know, what I said, I think I'm going to really try to approach the character as, as a real person versus just like, you know, a fake cartoon villain, I guess I could say. Um, you know, really approach it with, with real life struggles and real life reasons for the things that he's doing. And I think if I can find the actual reasons behind what he's doing, the real reasons, the uh, the life struggles that normal people go to, that, you know, it just caused me to drive me to do some messed up things. I think that'll be, that'll be real for, for the viewers and for the fans of the novel. I think that'll really put on screen what they might have already had in their heads when they were reading the novel initially, so that's what I hope to bring. Okay. Tell me, uh, what influenced you to want to be an actor? Um, what influenced me to want to be an actor? Uh, I guess I'd have to say I, it started really early. When I, when I was younger, me and my sister would, um, we'd stay up real late during the summer, like, you know, to like 5 a.m. and we would watch just movie after movie after movie. We'd go through all the movie channels that we had and just 
read the info on whatever was coming. And, you know, if there was a movie from 12 to 130 that we wanted to see, then we went to what was coming on from 145 till 330 or whatever. And, you know, we would pick movies and we wouldn't necessarily pick movies that we'd ever heard of or had actors that we'd ever heard of. And we just would read the info and if it was something we wanted to see, we'd watch it. And for summer after summer after summer, that's what I did. So I knew I wanted to be an actor for so long. And then, you know, I got to college and took one acting class. And uh, it was a blessing because the teacher of the acting class, she really, she kind of took me under her wing. She was asking me initially to stay after class. And then turned around, I was asking her to stay after class or meet me whenever to help me um, really perfect my craft and really find out, you know, who I am as an actor. And uh, after that, I started going out for agents and casting calls and, you know, the rest is history, I guess, as I said. Okay. What do you admire about an actor? Oh, man. What do I admire? Uh, I guess what I admire is when an actor really can find himself like lost in a role, like completely gone in the role that they're in. Um, something that's jumping out of my mind right now is is the Joker. Uh, Heath Ledger is the Joker in, in the Batman. And, man, like from the first scene, you just, he completely controlled that movie. Just completely was gone as the Joker and you didn't see any of Heath Ledger. And it was just, it was honestly just one of the most beautiful things to watch. And, and it, you know, he eventually, I guess, lost his life probably because of that role, which obviously is not something you want to happen, but it was just, to watch it was one of the most beautiful things that I could really watch. And then also, like Denzel in Flight recently, the way he approached the subtleties and the nuance in that movie was also just really beautiful to watch. And I think, I think great acting really becomes an art. And, um, it's great to watch artists, you know, when, I guess I'd have to say if, if what I admire is when it's no longer entertainment, but it becomes art and it's just, just beautiful to watch. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, tell me if you won an Oscar, share with us, what would you say? <laughs> Oh man, okay, this is the question that <laughs> I knew was coming, it did not want to come. Okay, so a little bit of backstory. I had recently had this conversation with my mom about what I'm going to include in my actor speech, or my Oscar speech, if it comes to that. And she didn't approve at all. I just want to put that out there. So, first, I would start with all my thank yous, you know. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Alexis. And obviously, thank you to my mom. You know, she's been here for me filming every audition. She's filming this right now. You guys can't see her, but she's right there. And, um, and yeah, and both my parents are just so supportive of everything I've done and so supportive of this, especially. And, um, and yeah, so I'd have to thank my family members and, you know, thank God. And, you know, whoever's close to me at the time, my close friends. But I would also, and this is the part that she doesn't like, I would have to thank all what I would call my haters. All the people that turned their back on me. All the people that said I would never make it. All the people that, you know, people that straight up told me you'll never be famous. Why are you acting? You, you can't do that. And, uh... Yeah, all the people that are in my fuel bank, as I call it, I want to thank them and just give them a, a giant F you. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's honest. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's going to be the end of the Oscar speech if, if I were to get it. So, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, in closing, kind of a share with uh, the readers of the novel, um, your kind of final perspective on the character? Um, final perspective on the character? Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, I guess the only thing I can say is uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, I'm really looking forward to the role. Uh, you know, I haven't been a villain before, but I'm excited to do it. And you know, to Dell, I like to speak directly to him. Uh, he should enjoy his life while he still has it, because I'm coming for it.